Here's a great way to improve scapula control. So Mike here is gonna bring both arms out to his side. And he's gonna rotate both arms externally, which is bringing the palms up towards the ceiling, and then internally, which is bringing the thumb down towards the floor, as far as he can. He's gonna go back and forth. And you're gonna see here that when he rotates up, hold that position, Mike, his shoulder blade is also scooping back. And then rotate forward, now his shoulder blades are scooping forward. So the shoulder blades and shoulder move together and he's developing that control very well here. Now, what's gonna be hard is if he dissociates one shoulder versus the other. So now he's gonna rotate externally with his right. So he's gonna rotate thumb towards the floor here and then internally with his left. Good, good control. And then he's gonna go back and forth. The key here is to go very slowly and go through your whole range of motion. It's gonna be easy in mid-range, that's no problem, but the hard part is really getting all the way out there, good. It's gonna to be tough here, good. And then go internally and externally, uh, both sides together. So the biggest compensation here is when someone externally rotates, they usually extend a little bit the low back, kinda of like that. Mike does a good job, but how you can avoid that compensation is if you take a seat on a very low surface, that's gonna round your low back a little bit. So you can even round your low back a tiny bit, Mac. Good, and now when you do that external rotation, that forces you to get that motion from here and not so much from that low back. So here he's isolating that motion more so to that scapula. So if you feel like you're cheating from your low back, this is a great way to go around it. Try this out.